<laughs> okay, I'm not eating at this one again. No. All right, this is a video that you just can't look away from. A mouse skittering across the floor, another one not moving, and a third one climbing the wall of a Dallas West End restaurant. More than 100,000 people have watched that video on Facebook. Many of you tagged News 8, wanting us to get to the bottom of it. News 8's Sarah Hoy has some answers. Customers who wanted a side of guac yesterday at a Chipotle downtown had some very unwanted guests for lunch. Okay. I'm not eating at this one again. It's the video that grabbed our attention. On Tuesday, one unlucky diner filmed this video at the Chipotle in Dallas's West End. Seen here okay. are one. I'm not eating at this one again. Two. No. Three. Mice running around inside the restaurant. According to a spokeswoman for the chain, mice got into the restaurant from the outside due to a small structural gap in the building. In a statement, she said, we immediately removed the mice and we are having the gap repaired. Additionally, we reached out to the customer to apologize and to make things right. The customer who filmed the video did not want to go on camera. However, he did confirm that Chipotle has reached out and been very helpful. Following some bad press over the last year, Chipotle has updated its food safety practices. It's also revamped its image in ads like this one. To help win customers back nationwide. Hundreds of restaurant inspections are conducted each month at the more than 6,000 restaurants in Dallas. Each restaurant receiving a score out of 100. According to the city's food inspection database, the Chipotle in question scored in the 90s for its last three inspections. That's considered very good. Dallas restaurants can be docked for violations spanning from the easily fixed to serious health hazards. Until just a few months ago, this information wasn't available online. But now, it's just a click away. Sarah Hoy, Channel 8 News. All right, you see something at a Dallas restaurant that you would like to report, just call the city's Consumer Health Division at the number that you see on your screen.